It doesn't bum me out, you know. Like I don't really care what you know people say, but it's just a another kind of situation when you walk up on another man. You know what I mean? So, you know that's 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 more of that thing, you know. But I kind of expected it. You know, some people already you know feel a way about me because of my college choice. Um, but you know, I just got to play better and make plays on the field to get them to like me. You know, that's how it is in the NFL. Do you really think the Michigan thing is is a factor for you? Yeah? Um. A little bit of a factor, absolutely. How often do people walk up to you? I mean, every, every time I go out. It's not always negative, is it? Um, more times than not. <laughs> I mean, that's my experience. You know, I can't speak for all the guys, you know, but this is the NFL. You know, that's how it is. Um, love you when you're doing good, and they don't when you're not. Um, you know, we know we have to play better. Um, obviously, you know, I wasn't talking about the fans as a whole. Just more so the environment of an NFL franchise. You know, I love the Browns. I love the city of Cleveland. You know, I love how passionate the fans are. Um, you know, and part of part of what I get is my fault. You know, I'm not playing up to you know my potential, and you know they see that as well. So you know you can't you can't fault the the, the people for you know feeling how they feel. You know you just gotta. Take it with a grain of salt and, you know, do what you got to do to get better. Are you 100% confident that you still have everything inside of you to be the first-round pick that the Browns drafted you to be? Absolutely. Absolutely. And, you know, how do you expect that? To, when do you think that's going to be?